Hi, I'm Sophie B, Technical Director for Matthew James Salons, and welcome to my Blow Wave Masterclass. I'm going to show you how to get maximum oomph in your hair, and I will be demonstrating on myself. Hi there, I am back from the basins, and I have been prepped up with Full Again by Living Proof um, Shampoo and Conditioner. So that's our volumizing range within the range. Um, so now we have one very damp, wet, soapy thing. Um, and I'm now going to take you through how I blow dry my own hair with volume. Now, a couple of pointers just to begin before I um, start blow drying my hair is pretty much when you're giving your hair volume, there's two things to think about. Number one, you need to be thinking about where you're trying to create the volume on your hair. So, with regards to my bob, if you think about an um, invisible line coming from your ear over to your other ear, the volume needs to be coming from this area with it being a little bit flatter towards the front. That will kind of give you that sort of 60s retro um, feel to the bob and it will actually help the back of your hair to look even bigger by keep, keeping the front a little bit flatter. The last thing to think about, um, and you must keep in mind as you're blow drying your hair, is that each section is completely dry before moving on to the next. Um, I know a lot of you out there have got a little bit more hair than me and you probably get bored doing your hair halfway through. But when you're trying to create volume in the hair, you have to make sure the bonds in your hair have been completely reset around the direction that you blow dried them in. Otherwise, by the time you move on to your next section, your last section will just sort of diminish and go frizzy and fall flat. And we're looking for longevity with this blow dry. And as many of you know, I only blow dry my hair once a week. And so now I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, first of all, I'm going to prep my hair with Living Proof Root Lift Spray, okay? So I'm going to hold the section, a couple of sprays. And you don't need to go wild with it. And then the other side. Make sure you give it a little judge to disperse the product in. Okay, and we're good to go. So first of all I'm going to um, give my hair a little blast. If you've noticed, we have a nozzle. Ladies, you must have about a thousand of these in your bedroom somewhere. So make sure you find one that fits and pop it on. Um, and that's going to keep the airflow flowing down the hair shaft and giving you a smoother um, result altogether. Alright, so nozzles on ladies. So I'm now around about 70% dry and um, now the fun begins. So I've got a um, small heat retaining retain brush, easy for you to say. <laughs> um, and the middle part of it heats up as you are. Still got my nozzle on ladies, do not be taking your nozzle off. I will know if you have. Okay, so the best thing you can do is use this side of the brush for the underneath and the sides of the hair. Up. See the hair's a little bit shorter. All right, I'll see you in a bit. a little mini just to show you the first three sections that I've done. So as you can see, the product's amazing. Check this out. Um, and obviously my handiwork's pretty amazing as well, which you will be too if you follow my top tips in getting this kind of volume. Now, in order to get the volume, it's important your hair dryer and brush are in the right position. So, on a really sort of warm heat, what you're going to do is you're going to come under the hair, okay? Your hair dryer needs to be kind of behind it with the airflow pointing down and you're going to make a C shape in the air twiddling your fingers using the hair dryer barrel to wrap the hair around so you can pick it up again and then you're gonna like twiddle the brush in the room and you're creating C shapes in the air. It's really important you're going up, round and down and when you get to the end stop twiddling the brush okay and just hold it. So I'm gonna demonstrate with the hair dryer on. 
on your hair with, with a blow dry in order to get it big. Another really important thing is to take what we call a horseshoe section, which is a section around your head like this. And that stops you getting any kind of weird parting um, and it drying before you can sort of get to it. Um, and then you'll, you'll see what I mean when we get to the top with regards to not really having a part and making it big. But if you can see, I'm just taking sections kind of round my head. So this is the second section. And we're actually going to do this in three sections, okay? So I'm going to get blow dry in the next bit. Okay, so now I'm going to blow dry the sections to actually fall around my face, kind of this way. We call that a diagonal back sectioning pattern in the hairdressing world. Um, and as you can see, it's just like a V shape from the centre forehead um, to um, the opposite side of my crown. Um, so I'm going to literally work in this pattern till I'm left with a little triangle on the top. And that's going to be the section that we blow dry back, okay? and looking big and smooth. Um, so as you can see, I have very big hair. Volume masterclass accomplished, OK? 
okay? So literally, you should now be left with a triangular section on the top of your hair. Okay? And this bit is literally going to come back off your face. So, it's really, really important with this section that you set it in the colder. So you're going to go hot, 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 roll the hair, big, big C shapes in the hair. Get the hair really, really hot. Get those bones really kind of remoulded around the brush. Then we're going to blast it with cold air for about 30 seconds while we keep the brush still. Then we're going to let it go, okay? We're going to continue to do that on the top three sections. See you in a bit. And here we have it, big, bouncy, beautiful bob on me, Sophie B. Let's have a little look. So I'm going to turn the side profile. Me again. <laughs> and there we have it. 